This is the question of May June 2013, paper 1 1, and the question number is 19. So it says the diagram shows uh, a wheel of circumference 0 0.30 meters. A rope is fashioned at one end to a force meter. This is the force meter, which is right now reading uh, 20 Newton. So it is 20 Newton. The rope passes over a wheel and supports a freely hanging load of 400 Newton. The wheel is driven by an electric motor at a constant rate of 50 revolutions per second. So this uh, frequency is equal to 50 hertz, let us say, 50 hertz. So which we can also say in other words as uh, uh, revolutions per second, that is RPS as well. When the wheel is turning at this rate, the force meter is 20 meter, as I have already mentioned. So we need to find the output power of the cable. So let's say, uh, realize that let's realize that in order to lift this load work is being done by this motor as well as uh, this uh, string here this string with the help of this whole arrangement so work is done by the work is done by the springs here plus work is done by the motor here to lift this load so work done by uh, springs work done by springs plus work done by motor is equal to work required to required to lift the load lift the load so that means uh, if I divide all of them those things by time I will have power of the springs springs plus uh, power of the motor motor is equal to power needed to lift the load so the power of the spring will be equal to the force is given here so force uh, uh, read by the read by the uh, meter force read by the meter into velocity with which the load comes comes up or with which the string comes like this velocity plus power of a motor is equal to is equal to the load that it lifts which is the weight into its velocity into its velocity so uh, the velocity now needs to be calculated so we can find the velocity as this in circular motion we have v is equal to 2 pi f into r where they say 2 pi r is the circumference and f is the frequency so the circumference is given as 0 0.30 meters and the frequency is given as 50 hertz so this thing will give us it is 15 meter per second so that means it will come up and it will be coming down at the rate of 15 meter per second so now we will have therefore power of the motor will be equal to w v minus force meter meter into v so i can have w minus force meter into v so this is w is equal to 100 force meter is equal to 20 and this velocity is 15 so this is 80 into 15 which will be giving us 1200 watt so uh, the answer choice which goes with this is choice number b of course